What's up guys? I'm here in my apartment, in my office, here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. I'll get to that in a couple of vlogs. This, however, isn't a vlog. This is an announcement. And I'm sorry that I'm doing this announcement from the dark, but I filmed this once already and there was an audio issue. You guys know how much I love audio issues. So I'm refilming it and using my nice Dell laptop as light for this video, for this announcement. That was way too dramatic. Anyways, this announcement is dramatic. This announcement is exciting. I'm announcing today my next travel photography, landscape photography workshop and tour. My next photography tour is gonna be in Patagonia. And I'm really, really excited to announce that. I'm stoked to announce that we're going to Patagonia. Patagonia is insane. It is one of the most beautiful places on the planet. But even more than I'm excited to announce Patagonia, I'm excited to announce that coming with me on that tour to Patagonia is none other than Thomas Heaton. And it just totally makes sense. Patagonia is one of the most beautiful places in the world for landscape photography. So why not bring along one of the world's best landscape photographers with me on that trip? So all in all, I can't even describe how excited, how jacked I am for this workshop, for this tour. As is the case with my travel photography workshops, these landscape oriented workshops are pretty similar. It's a blend between a tour and a workshop. There's teaching moments and then there's time for people to be free and shooting. And I think it's a great place to learn. I tell people all the time that I learn way more when I'm out in the field shooting with other pros than I do from YouTube videos or from books or from really anywhere. There's just something to be said about being out in the field with a bunch of photographers in terms of growing your skills. So that's what this tour is about. I'm super excited about it. I think it's gonna sell out really quickly. So if you're interested, please go to the description of this video and click on my website and head to my webpage. There you're gonna find all the information about the tour, the itinerary, the price, all that fun stuff. And you can also reserve your spot on the trip there as well. So head to the website right now if you're interested in this in the trip. I can't tell you how excited I am to be doing a workshop with my boy T. Heat, with Thomas Heaton. Tom is an unreal landscape photographer, but more than that, he's like a really, really good educator. And more than both those things, he's just a really good dude. So I think those of you who haven't met Tom in person will learn a lot from him and just, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Also joining me on that trip is gonna be Greg Snell. Greg Snell was with me in Patagonia when I was there last year location scouting. He's gonna be assisting, he's gonna be shooting B-roll, he's gonna be helping people that are trying to learn to do video since Greg's like a video wizard. So that's gonna be a lot of fun having Greg as well. Basically, it's a dream team. You get BVS, you get T-Heat, and you get Greg Snell. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, quickly, the itinerary, it starts and ends in Punta Arenas, Chile. And the start day is April 20th, the end day is May 1st. From Punta Arenas, we're gonna head up to Puerto Natales really quickly. That's a really cool little port town. From there, we're gonna drive across the Ruta 40 up to Perito Moreno Glacier, which must be the coolest slab of ice on the planet. It's just beyond mind boggling and an unreal place for photography. From there, we're gonna head to El Chalten. In El Chalten, we'll spend quite a bit of time. There's so much to photograph there. You got Chorillo Falls, it's fall, so you get the really impressive fall colors when you're there in El Chalten. You've got the secret waterfall, you've got uh, Laguna Torre, you've got Laguna de los Tres, and you probably remember all these locations if you came with me on the vlogs back when I was doing the Patagonia vlogs. And if you haven't checked out those Patagonia vlogs, there'll be a card up here somewhere for you to click on if you wanna see a couple of those episodes. From El Chalten, we head back into Chile and head to Torres del Paine National Park, which is one of the most beautiful places in the world and just a landscape photographer's dream. So I'm super excited for this trip. It's gonna be unreal and I think I'm done talking about it now. So click on the link in the description if you guys want more info on that. Now, I want to kind of talk about my thought process and what's happening with these workshops and what's happening with these tours pretty quick because there are a lot of changes. In the past, I've run all my photography workshops with Jeff Bartlett. 
And I love Jeff. Jeff is one of my favorite people and one of my best friends and one of the best educators in the world. But we both kind of feel like we want to be doing different things. And so we decided, hey, let's just do our own thing. We don't need to do all our workshops together. You can run your thing, I can run my thing, and then if they align, we can do them together, and if not, bring on different people, do them by yourself, and we'll figure it out. So just because Jeff's not coming with me on this workshop to Patagonia doesn't mean he's never coming again. There's definitely a possibility that Jeff and I will be doing a workshop or a tour together at some point. Jeff really wants to focus on like backcountry adventure trips, and maybe some like night sky stuff closer to his home, Whereas I want to kind of move towards bigger trips and maybe bigger adventures. And I'm really excited for kind of the ideas I have. And I want to let you guys in on those ideas. Basically my idea is to run four trips every single year. And those four trips are going to be completely different styles of trips. So trip number one is going to be photography, tour, and workshop. That's what I ran in Iceland. That's what we'll be running in Patagonia. That's what we ran in Morocco and Cuba and Peru before. It's the mix of tour and workshop, and they're fantastic and fun. And for those big workshops, I'll probably be bringing along a guest photographer, someone like Thomas Heaton. The second style of trip I want to be running is an adventure. I want to do things that are a little bit more adventurous. So an idea might be going on like a five or seven day hike in Nepal. And those adventure trips would still be photography related. They'd still be very photography heavy and I'd still be educating on those trips. But the trips would be more focused on having a good adventure with a bunch of photographers. Some were really cool. So we could do that in Nepal or India or we could do a hike in Peru. There's so many different options for an adventure that we could do um, as a trip. And then the third style of trip that I'd like to do is just maybe more of a clinic. And a clinic would be, let's take a destination on a weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, shoot sunrises and sunsets, and then spend the middle of the day doing more clinical stuff like Photoshop and Lightroom and file management and talking about the business and talking about selling photos and talking about image storage and stuff like that. So that's trip number three, which might happen somewhere like Cornwall or London or Istanbul or Toronto, I don't know. But that's trip number three. Trip number four I'm calling exclusive. The exclusive trips are gonna be just that. They're gonna be quite exclusive. They're gonna be three or maybe four people on those trips at absolute most. And those trips are gonna be designed in a way that you guys really live and shoot the same way that I do out on the road. So rather than kind of doing a clinical side of things or a tour side of things, we're gonna like pile into a minivan or into a truck and we're just gonna shoot and explore the way I do. It'll basically be like you guys living my life for a week or 10 days, somewhere like Namibia, where we can go shoot stars and the sand dunes and go on a safari and have kind of the lifestyle I do without being a huge group. And I'm really excited for that style of trip too. So I wanna know what you guys think. Are you guys interested in any of those four styles of trips? Does anything like shout out at you and go, yeah, that's really cool. And also, is there any destination or location in the world that like really resonates with you? That if I said, I want to do this trip in that location, you guys would be in on it. So I want kind of your help and I want your guys' advice and I want your guys' thoughts. So in the comments of this video, if you could just let me know what destinations you'd really love to go on a trip on or what style of adventure you'd really love to go on, I would really, really appreciate it. And anyways, guys, that's it for this video. It's been a lot of talking. We'll get back to the vlogs tomorrow. I've got a vlog from Kuala Lumpur tomorrow. Then I've got the Inca Octopus coming out. I know it's a little bit late, but it's coming out. Then I've got my trip to Chiang Mai here, and then I've got a month here in Thailand, and there'll be probably like 15 videos coming from Thailand. So it should be fun over the next little while, and I'm super excited about the things to come. Really excited about this Patagonia photography tour with Thomas Heaton. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys can join me for that. And if not, I'm sure you'll join me for the videos, and that's cool as well. I'll see you guys on the next show. Peace.